what's going on people so i was just doing a review talking about some ugly 12 lows or whatever and i was saying that like the next review was one that i was looking forward to because i was like looking forward to the shoe or whatever this is that shoe right and maybe you saw me when i did like the instagram live unboxing all that crap and you're like oh yeah he happens to like these it's about time it talked highly about something right yeah i get it i don't talk very highly about a lot of things but sometimes that's just how things are, right? I try to be honest with the people, right? So anyways, this right here, side of the box and all that good stuff, as you can see, there's all that crap going on down there. But I do also have another pair pulled out over here because here's the thing, right? When I could do this particular video, much like the last one, it's not gonna be like the normal in-depth review because I've done a handful of 12 videos lately. So I kind of feel like I've done enough of that. So I'm Today, just gonna give you like the brief overview or whatever, and then like the next time around, I'll probably do like the full one, you know, because I don't think I need to do it every time, right? Maybe every other, which that sounds about right to me. But either way, so going on, getting on into things and whatnot, this right here is the Air Jordan 12 in the stealth colorway. Yeah, so a lot less to say than normally is about some of these colors. Now, before we go getting on into it, one thing I will say, I do have, as I always do, a single complaint. And it's mostly a complaint, I guess, towards myself because it's the price, right? I bought these from one of those overseas retailer things and whatnot. So you end up spending a little bit more, you know, conversions and extra shipping and what, whatever. So not always thrilled about that. But the one thing that worked out in my favor this time, or at least worked out better, I should say, is that last time I bought from Foot Shop was those royalty no the playoff 12s remember that and they were shipped in a bag and whatnot these came in like an actual normal box and stuff so now this box is all in good shape and everything so i was a little hesitant initially you know especially given like how much money they kind of spent or kind of tend to take so since they didn't wrong me this time i'm feeling a little bit better about them so now that we're one and one Eventually, I have to buy something from them again and see where the deal breaker is and see which one of these is like more so the standard, you know, hoping it's this, honestly. But either way, now that that's out of the way, we're going to get on into like all the review things or mostly comparison things because, like I said, not a full on review. But, you know, you probably knew that. Starting with the bottom down there, what you're looking at is pretty much going to be like your standard type of outsole and whatnot. I like this one better than I like the last one because it's a little easier to see that part in the middle, and that's the thing that I like. Otherwise, it's pretty much just plain gray and white, but it works. It works just fine. Moving on up here to this midsole area, right? All that good stuff. Pretty much your standard 12 things. Nothing too fancy about it. So it's kind of one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix it situations, I suppose. So there's that for you. Now, looking at this whole thing from like the upper view or whatever you want to call that angle that I use, Right, you can kind of get a good idea for what's going on here and what you're getting an idea for is that there's not a lot going on here, right? It's very simple. It's a lot of gray, a little less white, and that's pretty much it with a little bit of silver if you look close enough, right? So not a whole lot going on, but for a lot of people, it's probably going to be doing just enough to make them think this might be worth buying. But that's why you watch like the rest of the video to see like maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have some idea on if it is or isn't and make a final decision whenever these have like a slightly wider release. Anyways, so like I said, not doing the full on thing. I just want to do a quick comparison and whatnot because that's what makes sense to me. Now, checking out things from the side and all that good stuff, right? Overall, material wise, they kind of are very similar to these. These are the, what is this? The Flint 12, right? These came out a while ago, and when I saw these, they kind of reminded me of them. But I saw once I got them, okay, it's it's a darker gray than these. So you can tell that, obviously. But otherwise, for the most part, things are very much the same, right? When you look at, like, the mud guard and all that, it's looking the same to me. This was when they were making things that felt not as leathery, but it was kind of like a weird feeling. But it gives you the same visual. And then when you look at, like, the actual leather of them, both of these are looking very much the same, feeling very much the same, so that's cool, right? I mean, if you like these anyway. If you didn't like these, then you may not like these so much, I don't know. But one thing that you will notice that is different is the stitching. So on these, on these older flints, well, I won't say older, 
because like there was a first pair, pair of flints. This is the 20, 20, 2019 flints, right? So these are the 2019 flints. So since these have this little zigzag sort of thing, you might think like, oh, what's going on with there? I don't know what's going on with that. This is more of the standard thing where it's just like straight lines and whatever, right? So that's what's going on there. But as far as that, for the most part, everything else is similar. This one, you had like more of a metallic style on the on the little jump man thing, whereas this one is just more like your plastic. And this feels like plastic, don't get me wrong, over here on the flints. It just looks like it isn't plastic, you know? It's all smoke and mirrors with these people. Past that though, looking at the insides and backs and all that good stuff, everything else is very much just the same. This is going to be like your standard Jordan 12 back piece, right? Nothing too fancy about it. So I believe that's pretty much everything there is to really say about everything here. So what we're going to do now is jump into like the personal thoughts and all that good stuff. I'll tell you how I feel because that was, that's why they're called personal thoughts. Get you some pictures in there and then I'll get some videos in there and talk about some sizing. How's that sound? It doesn't matter how it sounds obviously because what's done is done. I'm pretty into these. I really am. It's not very often that like something, especially not from Jordan brand, comes along and I'm like, wow, I, I really want to get these, right? But this one, this one had me like from the start, which is why I was okay with taking that chance with the whole shipping issue, right? So when I got them and I looked at them, you know, up close and all that good stuff and everything was as expected, I was pleased, right? Now I will say like the, the gray and the white things, it's very plain overall, sure, but to me, like, when I look at something like this versus, what was that, that Cool Gray 11? Yeah, something like that. That was too plain. This, it's got like the right blend, you know what I'm saying? So these, as I said in the Instagram video, I'd have to do some backtracking through like all my other 12 purchases over the last year or so, but I'm thinking this is probably my favorite pair since the flints right as far as like the ones that i picked up i could be missing something but i i think that that's accurate which is kind of crazy because there was a lot of time and a lot of releases between these two but i'm not trying to hype these up more than they need to be hyped up or whatever i'm just saying that me like i like these a lot will you like them a lot i don't know that's a that's a you question right but i'm cool with the money that i spent on them for the most part I, would, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that to everybody, you know, right? Because if you can get them for normal retails in your local dollars, why not do that, right? But I got them now and as a big 12 guy, like I'm going to look the other way on all that stuff and just accept the fact that they've released something that I truly like and I'm looking forward to wearing because it doesn't happen a, a whole heck of a lot. But yeah, so past that, I don't really have much else to say about these here 12s or whatever. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna sit this thing down. I'm gonna talk about, actually, you know what? I just noticed there was one thing I meant to mention earlier. So one other thing that was a slight difference down in here, down on the middle section, you see on this one, it's got this little arrow sort of thing coming up in the middle section. This one doesn't have that. I don't know if that's a common thing or what. I've never really noticed it until I was looking at these when I was taking all the pictures yesterday. And I just happened to notice that there. So now I'm wondering about it. Good boy. Now, we're going to do all the sizing and stuff. I feel like Jordan 12s are a big shoe, right? So I usually tell people they should go like a half step down because that's what makes sense to me versus like, you know, any other Jordan shoe or whatever else you normally would wear, right? So for me, that usually comes down to meaning like nine. But since Jordan 12s in general tend to be a little big, like visually they tend to look a little big as well, as does any other high shoe on me. I go with the smallest one that I can wear, which for me is a whole size down. So that's why I get these in like eight and a half, right? It just works out for me. It may not work out for everybody, but the half thing should work out for most people, right? But 12s are fairly easy to come by. So hopefully you can just kind of find a pair, try them out and all that good stuff. Now, as far as like the whole comfort thing goes, again, people talk about these like, like they're pretty good as far as like older 12 or excuse me older older jordans like in the like 1 to 14 range or whatever people like to say that they're near the top i don't know if they say they are the top i've heard some good things about 13s or maybe 14s but either way 
personally, I don't think they're all that great. I think it's not terrible, I guess, because they've got that Zoom Air thing in there, and it's kind of fine as far as take to walk on. But walking in them as a whole, like, they just feel a little clunky at times because, like, you know, I'm not used to, like, high shoes, I guess, and that's kind of, like, a me thing, right? So when I'm walking around in these, I kind of just want to put something else on for the most part. So depending on what kind of stuff you normally walk in, maybe you'll feel the same way as I do. But just know that it's a 12. It's kind of stiff out of the box because all the leather and whatnot. So it's going to take some time to break in. And until that happens, they're going to feel a little heavy and clunky, right? But at least you got some air somewhere down in there. So that should help you feel a little bit better about it. They're also not super breathable because of the whole leather thing, right? So that's something to be thinking about since it's still kind of summer for a little while, right? Yeah. But otherwise, like, at least when you are walking around in them, they'll give you a pretty good look, unlike those other things that just, they, they don't. But either way, so that's going to be, I feel like that's enough, right? I don't think I need to drag this part out too much longer or whatever, as far as like the on feet. So if you have any questions that weren't answered in the video or whatever, since I know this was more condensed, go ahead and leave it down below. If the question was answered, obviously don't ask it. Just watch that part of the video again. So, that being said, from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'll be back eventually with more videos. I'm not sure if I'm going to do my action figure thing today or not. If not, I got some ASICs that should be on the way in a couple days or whatever. So, I probably will be back with actual new stuff for probably at least a week, something like that. Later, people.